All right, so we are in Otford, which is about a, an hour south of London. Mm -hmm. um, we found a, there's a path that we're gonna take that's about an eight mile circular route. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll see how far we go, but yeah. we got some paint with us. Lindsay's got the oil, I've got the gouache. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go out to the nature, see some rolling hills and yeah. some cows and maybe some uh, horses yeah. and sheep. But we're excited to get yeah. out there and get to it. Yeah, absolutely, it's gonna be great. Where are we now? Let's see, we just turned left onto a minor road after the Kissing Gate when we went across a open field two or three times. Um, and now we're heading towards um, Mount the 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 house that the last house on the road, and then across from the Mount Grove Farm, there's a metal gate. We're gonna go through the metal gate. It's hard to miss, it's a hard to miss footpath. Then we're gonna head down the footpath, and at the end of that there'll be another kissing gate. We're going to cross through that and I can't remember if it was a left or a right afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> This is gorgeous. We've got some time before the sun changes the shadows too much. So we're going to push in on our composition, I think a little bit and really try and kind of get the, the motion and the energy of this kind of sweeping, peaceful hill. It's gonna be challenging with all of the greens, right? So you're gonna have to really push your cool greens and your warm greens and really make those shadows, you know, violet or blue to kind of give it more distance and really pull some of that stuff up front with some more saturation and maybe even push the, the red of the roof of the, the farmhouse a little bit. Um, but I think it's a great challenge because we have all these greens we kind of have to, you know, problem solve, which I think is really cool. Okay, so I think I've worked out my composition. Um, I'm going to use the second half of this board that was, was a painting that got wiped off in a previous plein air session. So I feel like it's kind of a nice mix of medium neutrals at the moment that would be lovely within some of these shadows that I'm seeing in the trees and stuff. So I think, I think that is better versus this lighter color. So we're gonna go with this one and my plan is to kind of push in the composition so that it stretches or it starts past these, this first row of trees. Red Barn sits somewhere maybe down in the right-hand corner-ish. That hill that's behind it will come into the center of the, the page and then that hill behind it, I'm going to try and push back even more and really focus on the blues within the shadows to kind of give it some distance and a little bit more atmospheric perspective and then maybe a hint of that far back hill that's behind both of them. Also today's goal, just try and paint high key because one thing that I keep noticing is that when I bring it back indoors, it's so much darker than what I thought it was outside. And that's very typical when it comes to plein air painting. Um, there's a lot of ways you can kind of combat that, but for me, it's just constantly focusing on upping my values as I put them in. So everything isn't dark when I bring it back in. All right, so I'm gonna bust out a little gouache landscape. Instead of doing oil this time, I decided to do some gouache just to kind of get more practice with doing um, landscape painting with gouache paint. I've done a lot uh, with oil and I wanna get better at it with gouache. And yeah, the idea is to keep the, my values in check. We got not a lot of shadow shapes going on today, so the sun is directly hitting the subject matter, so it's gonna be about really controlling those values. So, 
working in the sun, like I was just talking about, um, and trying to control your values and really, really register what they actually are, I'm gonna take just white on my palette knife really quick, hold it up to my blue sky and just see how dark my blue actually is. Let's see if that works. So if I squint my eyes, my white is nice and light, I can tell, and that blue is not that much darker, which I'm happy about. It's darker, but it's not dark, dark. So I know hopefully when I bring this inside, it'll still be a nice bright blue sky without being white and without being dark. Um, it seems like it's in the value that I'm looking for. Alright, so we just finished our first painting in our first location. Um, it was a lot of fun. We had great consistent light. And so we kind of got to relax a little bit and not feel like you're racing the conditions as much, yeah. which is really nice. Um, yeah, and it was really fun to see just the different end result of my oil painting and then Nate's gouache painting. Right, because each medium, the gouache and oil, it's similar but very different. I mean, my goal for today was just to like do some landscape painting with gouache paint and that was right. it. That was all I was trying to do because I haven't done any like plein air pure landscape painting with gouache. I've done some cityscape stuff, I've done stuff with like green elements but never just like purely just a landscape, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've only used oil. That's true, huh? Yeah, yeah. with 
like painting landscapes because it's just mm -hmm. it's juicy mm -hmm. and you can kind of move shapes around and and you can match colors shapes. a little easily yeah, easier, exactly right? exactly Versus so only interpreting colors and then and then making it relative to the color next to it exactly. that is oil painting but i feel like you could almost match it exactly if you really wanted to yeah and versus that's gouache and that's the problem yeah. so when i'm in a rut i usually yeah. jump over to gouache because yeah. it's hard for me to just match the color that i'm yeah. seeing and so therefore i'm interpreting things more right and i'm making the painting work in itself not necessarily match you know pigment to pigment what I'm looking at like that's exactly the same color as this no I can't do that with gouache mm -hmm. so therefore it's good it's a good tool to break yourself out mm -hmm. of this path you're going down yeah. we're gonna find our second painting location now yeah. probably go paint the barn up close yeah, possibly hopefully and um, yeah we're gonna get to it and try to get another one in before the Sun goes down All right, so we're gonna head back to this train station now. It's time for some dinner. Time to get back to London and um, hopefully come back out here again because it's oh, just yeah. such a nice little retreat from having been in the city, you know? Yeah, I think we saw like maybe 10 people like the entire yeah. time since we're out here. You know, it's <laughs> nice to just kind of get away from people yeah. for once, but you know. Right. Anyways, we're definitely coming back here. Definitely is, coming back. This is banging yeah. out here. <laughs> <laughs> 